It is 2009. At the 20th anniversary of the Hillsborough disaster, a new player steps onto the field. I remember coming out of the players' tunnel on the 20th anniversary and uh, there were over 30,000 people gathered for the service. The Lord bless you and keep you. And the, and the blessing, blessing of God, God Almighty, the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. And then Andy Burnham, who was Secretary of State for the Department of Culture, Media and Sport, he came to the stand. Today, as the Prime Minister has asked me to convey, we can at least pledge that 96 fellow football supporters who died will never be forgotten. He mentioned the Prime Minister, who had just said a week or so earlier that there would never be another inquiry into Hillsborough. And uh, a lone voice from the crowd just shouted out, justice for the 96. And he asked us to think at this time. And with that, the whole crowd stood and chanted. It was the most extraordinary sound. They could not have been more in unison. The minister was shaken. He was a politician, but he was also a local boy. And that night it was the local boy who returned to London, determined to make one last attempt to discover the real truth about Hillsborough. There would be one more inquiry, and somewhere in a paper trail nearly half a million documents long, they hoped to discover what really happened. For two years, the nine members of the Hillsborough Independent Panel met here to pull together the threads of the story. This time, there would be no hiding behind closed doors. It would be independent of the police and the judicial system. This time, all the documents will be made public so everyone could see. <laughs> 